Right, so i um, here today with here to talk about Aragorn. Um, a little bit of a tribute, some feats that we know from the books and the films, and how he would come up against Robert fucking Bratty. So the first one I think good to focus on is Bloodline. It's uh, an integral part of both a song of a Lord of the Rings. So Aragorn, for example, is which is is pretty pretty incredible. You know, he's a descendant of a race of men on the gods. And he's he's Alvish. He's got Alvish blood. Uh, Aaron Deal. Um, so he's got Alvish blood. His sword, Flame of the West, is described as uh, you're unable to lose a battle with it. This sword also cut and defeated Sauron, which was by Aragorn's heir, Isildur. Um, so there's the, he's he's 90 years old. Around we're going to say that's his peak, about 90, which is like, uh, imagine, think of an old barrister with a young body. We know in the fight scene in the Marine how much his knowledge is important in the field. So imagine, imagine Aragorn's of that. So, you know, of 80 years old. And he's fought many darker, crazier things than Robert Bratheon has. Um, he's 6 for 6. Um, he spent a lot of time learning Alvish magic. Um, as well as human magic, he was in the Dunedain. He fought to protect people, and he he um, he's been he knows everyone. You know, he he spent time with the owls and know that their ways. The, you know, humans, everyone, men, everyone. It's the integral part of the true story is about men, and it's about an Aragorn kind of represents that figure uh, more so than any other character. Um, so we've talked about Narsil, Arundel, his, his sword, nothing but leather or a light chainmail on, that's, that's his, his regular armour. And you, you've got to remember that Aragorn is his Rob Rathian, you know, so he's fought off five, um, if Sauron did get the one ring, it was Aragorn who said, yeah, well, I'll fight you, and that was the deal. Aragorn was the best fighter of yeah, the third age, if not of all time. You know, and that's in in a contender in our other in in the Undying Lands. Um, but it's just to me, Aragorn Fortress or an um, orcs or high at or Easterlings. You know, um, he can run for three days and nights without sleep, with food and water, and yeah, he wasn't tired. Skill-wise, Aragorn is unstoppable, since he has been fighting for many decades, but with someone much younger, um, he'd be a total you know, He's, to me, the boss man. He's the boss man of Lotta. So this comes down to the boss man of Lotta against Robert Bratty. Okay, so that's my um, Aragorn kind of summary. Any more that I've, I've missed about him that you think is fundamental, then please do put it in the comments. And after this, I'll do a quick one of Robert Baratheon, and then I'll talk down the fight and how I think it go down. Subscribe, don't subscribe, do whatever the fuck you want.